All right. Thank you all for joining. Really appreciate it, taking the time. Also, I want to thank uh, our new subscriber. We somehow, from last night to this morning, we got a big bump on our subscriber count. So for the new subscriber, hey, thank you. Welcome to the family. Uh, once in a while, I do make a dish that, um, that our family thinks of, and we never come up with, with the proper name for it, which is, hey, Daddy Dutch Barbecue and Cooking. Hey, thank you for uh, commenting. Since you're the first one I comment to, that I read, I'm going to put your channel link in the description below. Hopefully someone reads it, subscribes to your channel, and I'll also put one on the top right of the screen. Yeah, so once in a while, uh, we come up with a like a recipe or a dish, and we don't have a name for it. So that's pretty cool because that allows you, my subscriber, to name it. Even after the live stream, go ahead and comment below if you have a name for the dish. And if we like it, we're going to change the title to this video and name it after you. Okay? So, let's get cooking. Thanks for the shout out the other day, Papa Joe's. Hey, you're welcome, man. Hey, YouTube Cooks is about, um, you know, helping each other in the community. So, hey. Any shout out you guys want me to do, I'll, I'll do it for you guys. For this one, we're just going to work on one side of the griddle, and it's going to be on the left side, of course. Uh, as we know, this is the hottest side for my griddle. There's the flame. This one, we're just going to leave off. We might use it as a prep area. And this video is sponsored by Del Monte Southwest Corn. Not really, but it sounded good. It sounded good to be sponsored. All right, let's set up here. Got it on high. We're gonna try to eat a little cleaner now, right? Cut down on the oil and cut down on the butter. Actually, I found this butter that's like amazing. It's healthy too, All right? Most people like to add uh, oil or butter when they first start. I'm not gonna do any of that because what I have here is uh, ground beef. Now it doesn't really matter uh, the kind you wanna use, it's up to you. Listen to that sizzle. Derpy Filipino, my daughter. Love you, Kelsey. It's up to you on how, uh, what kind of seasoning you want to use. But uh, tonight, I'm going to use our favorite seasoning. All right. Brought to you by Mike64 and Deborah, Doxy Lover.
Daddy Dutch, it's great on ribs, chicken, and shrimp. Ask him. Oh, what? Your dad is afraid to try some seasoning I sent him. Oh, I'm kind of scared of it because it's spicy from what I hear. It's very spicy. Yeah. That's the only reason I'm scared of it. I don't want to try it by myself. I'm gonna start scraping off some of this grease. I wanna cut down on the grease intake. I know some people like the grease, talking about its flavor and all that. Um, trying to eat a little cleaner. Turn it down. Rip off some of this grease. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah. How many more days before October ends? Because it's still Eggtober. The egg is optional. I'm only doing it because it's October. <laughs> I think putting the egg there was in uh, a bad location. Right, we got ourselves some uh, Southwest corn. I really don't want to fry it too much. 
just want to keep it warm. I'm not looking to cook the corn. Look at that beauty. Look at the color. I think we're done. Let's do an overall view. Look at that. That's a beautiful picture right there. At the 1203 mark. All right, let's make a plate. Oh, actually, we still got more to do. Oh, hold on, let's switch place. All right, let's go make a plate, right? All right, what we have here is some lettuce, right? You can cut it any way you want. I should have cut the lettuce a lot thinner. I didn't know what I was doing. Then you give it some mayo. I'm not a big fan of mayo, but I'll put a little bit of it. Because the family requested, requested it. I think I have a little too much lettuce, but that's all right. We'll fix that when it's time to make a plate. Let me show you how it looks. Corn burger salad. Ooh. That could be. That could be. And then here's the last ingredient.
I need to put a little bit more. It's like a lettuce with a crunch. I think it needs more. I'm sorry, but damn, it needs more. I love Doritos. Let's make a plate, okay? Dorito salad. Huh? There's a potential. I like it. Got that meat on there. All right. Let me, uh, I know I'm getting carried away but with Doritos, but I like it. Hold on. Let me crunch one Dorito. All right. <sighs> All right. While you guys are deciding if you want a bowl number one or bowl number two, uh, just comment below which one you would rather have. And if you have a perfect name for it, I would greatly appreciate it because I need a title for the video. So even after the live stream, go ahead and throw out a, a title on the comment. All right. Here we go. Flyover. Tell me thumbnail number one. Or thumbnail number two, or you could go red, blue, Corey Mead, one, Daddy Dutch wants Hobo as a thumbnail, <laughs> the little bowl would just hurt my feelings, supersize mine, hey, Papa Joe, I'll give you this one, <laughs> I'll give you this bowl, all right. All right, one, okay. Black olives, oh, I should have added that, yep. Backyard cooking with M and B. All right, went with one. Okay. All right, well, that's really what I have for you tonight. Number two is excellent, yes, I love it. Who's that, never trust a skinning chef, Shane. Oh yeah, black olives, I'll definitely do that next time too. But yeah, so that's it. That's all I have for you guys. I gotta go back to work. I uh, gotta feed the kids first and then do the rest of the work tonight. But hey, thank you for joining. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.